this is pretty much your normal day in Aruba. You come down to the ocean, you float, hang out, good times with either family or friends, depending on who you come with. <laughs> <laughs> trips Mark and I and girls how many trips have you made? 14. It means a lot to us just to be able to see our children kind of grow up here on the island. Aruba is a great place to reconnect with our family when we live such busy lives. Abby's very serious. She's very focused, very organized. When she comes down here, she kind of lets it go. You give her one day at the beach, and she will have made instant friendships with people from Holland, from Mexico, from New Jersey. Yeah, where do we begin on Livy? Livy is a lot like me. Kind of a goofball, free spirit. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of adventure on Aruba, so it just kind of fits her perfectly. Butterflies <laughs> love me. There are so many things. We find a new thing to do every time we're here. I'm not gonna scream. We're not wimpy, wimpy. Mommy! No, it's just like you're flying. Woo! One thing that we do every single year is go on our annual snorkel trip. We've developed a really good friendship with the owner of the boat, and she has a little girl that's our girl's age. This is Jasmine, and she lives in Aruba, and when we come down, we get to see her. They started snorkeling together when they were three years old. They're now nine and 10. You can't get any better than that. The people of Aruba are probably the most friendly people I think I've ever met. And it just seems to rub off on everybody around them, including us. There's just something magical about this island that brings us back together every time. We're the Everly family from Frisco, Texas, and this is our happy Aruba story.